What is going on guys? This is Spade. This is going to be a video showcasing yet another 4K 60 capture card. Uh, I got this one from Aver Media Live, or Aver Media was, is the company, uh, and it's their Live Gamer 4K. I did some testing, some testing with it, and then I'm just here to show you guys what I found out. And then we're just doing like the typical door test and stuff, but with the other Elgato 4K60, I do believe there was a mix-up in terms of the quality of the test on my part. So right off the bat, I do want to say I apologize for bad-mouthing Elgato on Twitter and YouTube and stuff. I didn't do enough due diligence on my part. I found this out after the fact working uh, with the Aver Media one. Uh, also, what I'm fixing to show you was not shown in any guides either by uh, Lieutenant Royal Shrimp, uh, who is the Elgato's media manager, or anyone in regards to Aver Media. So what I did, and keep in mind, there's going to be a few different facts. You can see my frame counter in the top left. I have my game limited to 120 FPS, or 120 hertz. Uh, and then I have, I did a few other things as well. But you'll remember the test before, uh, where there is screen tearing, to the left of me when firing this gun. And as you can see now, that's non-existent. This is a capture card that's capturing this. Uh, and I would pull up, I just had a brain farm, sorry. I would pull up that video, but I don't have that ready. Uh, but trust me, if you saw the old video, I'll link it below. You can see the difference between, I was uh, testing between NDI and the Elgato 4K60. But I'm going to show you what I did. Uh, I'm just going to do a little running around here so you guys can just see how this looks in terms of a recording. Uh, this is being recorded with the OBS Studio Beta uh, NVENC, the NVENC Beta. So, and it's being encoded at 40, I want to say 40,000 kilobits per second in terms of just a recording inside OBS. So we're going to go ahead and alt tab out of here. And I'm just going to show you a couple of things that kind of threw me off, right? So most people, whenever they're going to clone their monitor, the common person, which what I was doing, I was going to display settings, coming down here and just clicking here and going to extend or duplicate. This was the problem. This was causing the problem. Now, I'm not sure if this was also causing the problem of screen tearing on the Elgato 4K60. That card's already been returned, so I just can't confirm it, and I apologize for that. But I was having the same issues with screen tearing and stuff like that before I actually uh, figured this out. So whenever I would go in here prior and I would click Advanced Display Settings, this would actually show 4K right here. Uh, this would show 4K 60 Hertz on the capture card. And that's where I was getting a lot of the tearing because it's sending the wrong signal even though I have it scaled to 1920 by 1080. So what my brain was like, something's wrong here. So what, and I kept seeing it, I could separate them individually whenever nothing was being cloned to 144, 144, and it wouldn't, and it would be fine. But the second I cloned it, it would go to 4K on the capture card, 60 hertz. So what I did, I went into my NVIDIA control panel which you would just get there by right clicking on your desktop and going to NVIDIA control panel. And what I did, I actually just hit uh, set up multiple displays. And then all I did is right click and hit clone with. Since I only have two things connected to a video source, that's all I did. I right clicked, hit clone with. Uh, the first thing you can do is make sure your refresh rates are equal. Another thing about this capture card that a lot of people don't really touch on is it can't do 144 hertz. It says it can, but it can't. It does intervals of 60, essentially. So it's like 60, 120, uh, so it doubles, right? So 60 times 2 is 120, 120 times 2 is 240. That's where it gets there. So even though I have a 144 hertz monitor, I got these results just clocking it down to 120 hertz. It's fine. Most of my games average around that anyway, so it's not... A huge issue for me so once I made sure they were both at 120 Hertz I went down here and just hit right click on the monitor hit clone with one and two since I only have one monitor and the capture card and done that was it 
And that is all I did on this. Now, I'm sure you could set up some things inside OBS itself to do that, but this is what fixed my signal being sent to the capture card, which this is the, the I'm pointing, but you can't see me pointing. The gaming PC, the signal it's sending is the most important thing. Yes, the capture card needs to be configured, but considering you're setting up the capture card as a monitor, that is set up on the gaming PC. So whenever you're inside OBS, let me see if I could show this. Hang on, let me see. Once you're inside OBS, my face, bah, bah, bah. let's make this bigger. So once you're inside OBS, I have my LG 4K stuff. Let's double click. These are my settings here in the middle. I just have it set to custom, 1920 by 1080, highest FPS, NV12, and left everything else as default partial, set the buffering to disabled, and that's it. And you guys can see the quality that I'm getting. I mean, compared to the LG, or I'm sorry, compared to the Elgato 4K video, it's literally a huge, huge difference. This is loads better. It's not as smooth as I would prefer, but I think that's more of a CPU issue for me. But other than that, I mean, you can see there's no screen tearing, at least whenever guns firing, which was the big deal because the muzzle flash was really easy to spot screen tearing. That's why I do my test right here because you can just see the muzzle flash and this works great. Now, uh, I don't really want to do any post editing on this. I just kind of wanted to do it live and show you guys how I got this to actually finally work. And I'm so happy I was able to get it to finally work. And on YouTube, I saw no one did any kind of video to set this up for a two PC setup. This is a two PC setup. Gaming PC capture card is inside streaming PC. And the spec requirements are also a little off. Now, my streaming PC is an AMD FX 9590. Uh, so I don't, I'm not using like the Ryzen 1600X that it's, that it suggests or anything like that. And I'm able to get this and I'm able to stream it consistently. So if you're on that same kind of build, a little bit budget build streaming PC, you might be able to get the same results. I just really don't know. But otherwise, I just wanted to hopefully get this out there, help those of you that had some questions of how to set it up or that were having any issues. And for those of you that are having issues setting up your Elgato 4K60, this might work too. Just remember to do it through your actual NVIDIA control panel. I'm not familiar with the Avermedia Aver like Radeon settings, if it'll work through there. But do not clone inside your Windows, like your Windows 10 system. Like actually do it through your uh, graphics card uh, program manager. So actually go set the refresh rates and then clone it. You shouldn't have any issues. I make no guarantees, but that's what worked for me. So seriously, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. If it helped, if this video helped you out, leave a like on the video so it can spread the word, help other people out there. Seriously, thanks for watching. We'll see you dudes on the next one. Have a good night.